Hey guys, how's it going? Let's uh, continue with our, our paper. So this is the final part. So the final part, uh, the first question, question 31, it says, what's the pressure uh, when the force, uh, when the force of 100 newtons act on a 25 uh, square meter area, okay? So what is the pressure when the force of 100 newtons acts on an area of 25 square meters? So force the you just recall the formula force equals to um not force rather sorry so pressure equals to force divided by by area okay so here already you have your force your force is hundred newtons and your area is twenty five square meters and notice that this newtons is the standard unit square meters uh, it's also the standard unit for for area so thereby we get um the standard unit for for pressure okay so you actually get 25 into 25 into 100 you get four four pascals okay pascals is the unit for for pressure so the the answer would be this one uh they just wrote it as 4.00 4.00 it's simply four okay let's uh quickly move to the next part and uh the next time if you're asked to find maybe the area from the force and the pressure then you just do change of subject or formula and then you substitute let's quickly move to the next uh, question next question says what's the correct formula for calculating pressure uh, in uh, fluids H represents the height of uh, the liquid rho represents this one it's, it's pronounced as rho it's not P so rho represents the density of uh, the, the uh, liquid and G represents the uh, gravitational acceleration okay so uh, this one's called rho. The the actual name is is rho. So like this, that's the name of uh, this symbol here. So uh, this one you have to recall. So if you didn't know, uh, the the pressure of a liquid, it's what it's rho gh. Okay. So pressure is equal to. Let me actually uh, really pressure is equal to rho gh like this. Okay, rho gh is equal to pressure so you choose this one so you have to recall let's quickly move to the next part heat from the sun reaches the earth through so you're given uh these these are methods of uh, uh heat, heat um, transfer okay so conduction it's between solids convection it's in fluids okay convection it's it's a phenomenon that that happens in uh, our fluids and it's also trans, it's also uh, ensures that the whole liquid kind of um, gets to a homogeneous temperature at some point. So intermittently means at any point that, that won't be the case. So the uh, just uh, let me so let's say this is our vessel. Uh, let's say this is our fluid. Okay. So you'd be having this motion here. So this motion will be happening because um, the part of the liquid that's actually heated is, is at the bottom here. So when it gets heated, it becomes less dense. So it wants to move to the uh, upper part. So because uh, the in any fluid, the less dense part of the fluid actually floats. So it wants to go to, to the top. So it'd be going to the top and then the colder, uh, the colder water or the colder fluid which actually would actually be uh, going at the bot to, to, to the bottom and then it creates this uh, cyclic nature so that the cyclic nature is called uh, convection uh, con convection so radiation is a uh, transfer of, of heat through space it simply means that you, the, the, there is no requirement of a medium we don't need any medium okay so we actually choose radiation here that's how uh, the heat from the Sun uh, reaches the earth okay let's quickly move to the next part Why are black spots uh, used? Uh, why are black pots used on solar cookers? So why are black pots used on solar cookers? So the reason is that black is a good absorber of heat. Okay, black is a good absorber of heat. When you are cooking, uh, you know, uh, and using solar solar energy, um, you want as much energy from the sun to be retained uh, by the pot okay so you want the pot that's a good absorber of heat 
So let's quickly move to the next part. Next part says uh, the diagram A, B, R, C, D represents the pattern of uh, in the direction of the magnetic field around a current carrying conductor. Okay, it's a straight wire. It's a current carrying. Uh, it's a current carrying conductor, and this current carrying conductor, uh, the current is moving out of the page. So it simply means that it's um going towards you as you're watching this. This current is going towards you. So you are supposed to choose the the pattern which is uh, correct so these are uh, what you call the uh, right hand grip rule so um, right hand grip rule okay so this is what we are supposed to uh, to use so uh, what it simply means is that you're imagining that the current is coming out of the paper so the direction of the current is the you you, you make a as if you want to make a fist, but then your, your thumb should be relaxed, so your thumb should be uh, pointy. So right now, what's happening is um, your, 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 the current, uh, so let's say uh, this point here, this point here, that's where the current is, is, is coming, but then this current is coming out of the paper. So you're supposed to actually point to yourself, so you're actually supposed to point away from the screen as you watch it. And when you point away using your right hand, what you realize is that your your other fingers, the fingers that were making a slight fist, they will be pointing in this direction here. Okay, so we're also working uh, with uh, getting someone to do the illustrations. Maybe at some point we'll be able to show this in uh, in real time. But essentially, what you're doing is you're you're acting as if you're gripping something. If you're watching from a laptop, you're gripping it as if um, it's 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 coming it's coming out of the laptop. So as you grip, if your uh, um, thumb is extended, you realize that uh, if your thumb is extended towards, uh, away from the, from the screen, or away from the phone, you realize that the curls that the uh, fingers will be making will be pointing in the direction of, of D. So this is the rule that, that we use. We use the, um, when you want to um, uh, sit in the direction of um, uh, a magnetic field uh, for a straight line, uh, for a straight wire, you have to use the right hand grip rule okay let's quickly move to the next question next question says why are electric cables insulated okay so insulation is simply means when you see any cable there is that um it lists the typical cables you always see some outer plastic that's there and if you on if you remove that plastic that's when you start to see the electric um uh, electric lines so we call that insulation the stuff that that's there the plastic stuff that, that that's there at least in, in, in a typical cable we call that jar uh, insulation so why are electric cables insulated why do we do that uh, so this one says it's to prevent loss of elect electricity this is not true so to prevent overheating this is not true to prevent short circuits this is true short circuits is simply means um you have one wire so normally the, the wires will be, there'll be three of them so let's say um the, we have this wires and then these wires now um what will be happening is they are not supposed to be in contact okay so if they're not supposed to be in contact the only way that you can ensure that they are not in contact is if you separate the wires the best way to go about it is to um put an in insulation so the insulation is that 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 shit the um, um, the plastic sheet that, that you put and uh, if you see if you uh, remove a, a wire a three a three wire cable uh, what you realize is that there is there is an outer insulation that makes sure that the cables there they're all together in one place and then there is uh, each and every, and every wire will be having its own separate insulation so we do that so that we isolate the wires from each other because if they they um get in contact it means that uh, you know there's a short circuit so um, it's uh, it's not a good thing it's not a desirable thing to have a short circuit in in um, in, uh, in electric uh, appliance so that's why we insulate them okay let's quickly move to the next part next part says which statement about a fuse is correct so a fuse a fuse out is a fuse is um, a device that that breaks the the flow of, uh, of current and uh, the principle for fuses uh, we use let's say here here 
so um, it will be just a, a wire like this this wire is a, a very specific um, melting point so it's not necessarily one wire but then whatever wire you'll be using for the fuse it has a specific melting point so when current flows through this wire uh, if the current is uh, moderate or if it's the design current normal current then the fuse won't uh, won't, won't won't melt but then if the current is is high what happens is that the fuse actually actually melts and when the fuse melts it means that there is a short there's there's an open circuit okay open circuit it simply means um, there won't be any current flowing here uh, if you're doing physics we say that this this is infinite resistance okay because uh, there, there's no there's no connection uh, anyway let's let's assess the, the answers the answers the first one says uh, an electric circuit only works if it is a fuse so this, this is not true so there are some uh, you can actually operate um, an electrical appliance without uh, a, 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 without a, a plug and some most of the in most of the appliances especially those with appliances they put the, the fuse in the, in the plug so yeah so it's uh, it's this is not true so a fuse protects the appliance from high current so this is true uh, a fuse should uh, be connected to the neutral wire in a in a plug. So this is false. Okay, the fuse is connected to the to the live wire. If you connect it to the neutral wire, so you won't have done anything there. And and earth wire is needed to prevent our uh, fuse from blowing up. This is not true. Okay, so that's it. Let's quickly move to the next question. Next question says. A household uh, uses 250 kilowatt hour of uh, electricity per month. Uh, the unit cost of electricity. So unit cost of electricity is 20 cents. What is the total cost of uh, the electricity used uh, by the household per month? Okay, per month. So the clutch here is realizing that uh, the unit uh, of electricity it's actually one kilowatt hour this is the unit of electricity household electricity when they are measuring consumption they measure it in terms of kilowatt hour okay this is this is a unit for energy the amount of energy uh, produced or the amount of uh, energy consumed rather by the appliance or by the um, aggregate of appliance so all of them so the the unit cost is uh, twenty. So twenty cents would be twenty cents per kilowatt. Okay. So it'd be two hundred and fifty kilowatt hour multiplied by twenty cents per kilowatt hour. Okay. So this kilowatt, uh, if it says per, it means that this this one's the cancel, and then you just get cents. So zero zero, then you get uh, zero zero here. Okay, remember we are going to get our answer in, in cents. So 20 times 250, that's what I'm doing right now. So I said uh, zero, zero, so you put the zeros and two times 25, you get, you get 500 like this. So uh, we, were, we are working with cents, okay. So 5,000 uh, cents is equal to what? Fifty dollars. Okay, so it'd be this one here. So the the important thing was to realize the unit of electricity um, consumed in a household. It's uh, in kilowatt hour. So if they say twenty cents per unit, the per unit cost is twenty cents. They mean it's twenty cents per the kilowatt hour. Okay. Let's uh, quickly move to question thirty nine. Says sound signal. In an optical fiber in an optic fiber is transmitted as it's transmitted as light energy okay sound signal in an optical or optic fiber is transmitted as as light energy sometimes they don't write light energy they write electromagnetic uh, waves or electromagnetic energy so electromagnetic uh, waves are simply simply light okay so yeah so that's uh, that's it for this part uh, let's quickly move to the last question 
which uh, which one is a function of, uh, of an antenna so antenna is to or well, the function is to receive signals okay receive signals so it also transmits sometimes the antenna also transmits but then for now for for here the correct answer would be to receive signals so that's it uh, for now and uh, on the 1st of August we are having um, you'll be able to take tests on, on premier.com so we want you to uh, come through there will be a leaderboard so we may have um, scores the the highest mark there it will be a paper on paper some of the, the papers we have done them so we want to see uh, who will get the, the highest score there so you just come you register it's uh, it's for free for the for the first month so uh, for the first month is we are uploading our stuff there we'll offer it uh, for you to uh, just use for free and then if you like it obviously the next the, the, the following month things will have uh, changed so thanks so much for watching make sure you like share and subscribe Yuba out